Hi everyone, it's Prince William 1995 and I couldn't be bothered to go to school today. So, I thought I'd stay at home and make a tutorial for you. Aren't I kind? This is how to make brush boots. This is what they will look like modelled on Pichu. Um, they're very pretty. They look like the neoprene ones that you get in real life. And this is the crappy camera, by the way, so it probably won't focus. Mm. No. Um, yeah. So that's what they look like. He's got Paston boots on. Not Paston. Fetlock. Are they? I don't know. Little ones on the back. And bigger ones on the front, because they look better on him. But these two have got the big ones on the back. Like the full brush boots. And they've got leather on them. And proper Velcro straps so you can take them on and off. Like so, she's going to fall over. Which ah, you can take it off. They're really cool. So that's what they look like. The supplies you'll need is this funky foam. It's um, you can get it from craft stores. It's really cheap. Scissors, pencil, super glue, some faux leather or real leather. Faux leather is cheaper. It's like fabric on the back and fake leather shiz on the front, and some Velcro. So that's the supplies that you need to make brush boots. And I've noticed that my tutorials go on for ages usually, so I'm trying to rush through this one. Okay, let's go. So the first thing you need to do is measure out a box in the corner of the foam that is 3 centimetres by 3 centimetres. This should be about right, but you can always trim it down if your braid has got thin legs. So go up about, I don't know, half a centimetre. Come across a bit. Let's make a little score line on both sides and then make a dip down and back up like that okay and then cut it out so this is what it looks like when you've cut it out I had to trim a bit off the top because it was a bit long for bluegrass's legs um, the next thing you need to do is to get your velcro this is like the fuzzy soft velcro so that it's not quite as bulky for the boots. But you can use normal velcro, it's fine. So, to make, this is where it gets a bit confusing. To make a right boot, you need to have the straps like this. So the soft bit of the velcro is on this side, and the prickly bit of the velcro is on this side, and the straps are obviously longer so it reaches round the leg. So, the left boot, it's opposite way around. Soft stuff this side and prickly stuff this side. Do you understand? Good. So, uh, this is... The thicker the straps, the better, actually, because then the more grip they have. But obviously not too thick, because that would look weird. So cut out two smaller bits of fuzzy and two longer bits that are about... four centimetres. Doesn't really matter. As long as they reach around the brayer's legs to secure here, it's fine. So cut those out. So here's the straps that I've now cut out. These are the fuzzy bits. They don't need to be long enough to reach the edge. They're fine, as long as they come sort of into the middle. Yeah. And these are the prickly bits. Remember when you're gluing them that the prickly bits have to be stuck face down and the fuzzy bits need to be stuck facing up. Okay? Because then when they reach round, the, the bits that fuzz... Blah, don't know how it works. But yeah, when it reaches round, it will secure properly. Face down, face up. So glue them down with your awesome super glue that my grandpa got me. Woo, yay, grandma. Um, so yeah, glue them down, and then I shall show you the next bit. So I've glued them down now. Um, they'll be even secure once you've got the middle bit on. This is where the faux leather comes in. If you don't know what faux leather is, it's like a fabric... But then on the other side, it's plastic shears that looks like leather. Or you can use real leather, whichever, doesn't matter. But you need to cut out a little oval shape. It's like Blue Peter moment this is. Here's one I made earlier. Ta-da! It's like a little oval thing, and it goes on there. And it's the bit that stops the actual scuffing. So as long as it covers ooh, the gap in between the two bits of Velcro... Doesn't that look cool now? It looks complete. So cut out a little shape. I, look like I don't know any measurements. You'll just have to keep trying until you find the right shape. That's what I always do. Seems to work. So 
put our little oval and then stick that down with your super glue. Yeah. Oh, it fell over. Okay. So glue that down once you cut it out. And here is the finished thing. Ta da! It looks quite cool actually. <laughs> I like it. Right, I'll put it on bluegrass and I will show you it in all its amazing awesomeness. One minute. Here it is, the finished thing. It looks quite cool. So, ooh, that's my little boot for bluegrass. Ta da! They're really easy to make, so I recommend you try them. That's gone fuzzy. They are cool. You can do all different colours because the foam you can get in really any colour. So I hope you find it useful. Thank you for watching. This is Prince William 1995. Bye bye.